morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic for today is from our friend Kevin. And here it is. C, can you do a video about how to not say hurtful things when you are very angry at your spouse? My friend, don't say things that you don't mean when you are angry. I had people like that in my life. And guess what? They are no longer in it. You know, have you experienced being in an argument with someone that you are really close to? Your spouse or someone that you are in a relationship with? They curse you. They purposely say the most hurtful things just to hurt you. Yes, most of us have experienced all of those. And maybe it's even you. So if that's the case, keep on watching. How to not say things you don't mean when you are angry. When you are in an argument with a person that you love, you have to be very careful on anything that you say. These are things that you just can't take back regardless of how you feel at the moment. It's not just right to say mean and awful things just to hurt him or her. It's called verbal assassination. It's called verbal assassination. It's called verbal assassination. Have you heard of the phrase words are sharper than two-edged swords. Be careful with your words. Once they are said, they can only be forgiven and they can never be forgotten. I hear you. You'll say, See, it's just word. Get over it. You're so sensitive. Don't be so sensitive. Words don't kill you. Just make you stronger. No. Do you know? Words stabbed more hearts than swords. I have seen couples ending their relationship just the fact that they could not get over of that hurtful feelings that were said. If you keep saying hurtful words when you are in the heat of an argument, you don't need a sword to murder your relationship. That's an instant kill right there. As an adult, and I assume and I expect that you are one, you are responsible for your actions, your thoughts, and most especially your words. You don't make excuses about your bad behavior. I get it. It hurts. So does the person that you are in argument with. If you are in an argument with your significant other, talk about things that are currently happening. Focus on that thing that you are arguing about. Bringing up things from the past or criticizing, making your spouse feel so bad about the things that he or she did, shoving it to his or her throat. These are not helping your situation to be better. In fact, it is very damaging. It may be the end of it or close to it. The thing is, you may not be physically hurting your partner, but you are emotionally stabbing them. It's the same thing. Since you are part of the Coffee with C community, we will help you how to not say things that you do not mean when you are angry. Number one, regardless of how you feel, regardless of how angry you are, do not ever lose that respect to your partner. Don't ever, ever cross that line. You cannot go back once you do. Regardless of how sorry you are, the damage has already been done. If you know this, you will be able to think before you open your mouth. While you are in that heated argument, think to yourself, this is my wife. This is my husband. I love this person. I do not want to say things that will cause pain to him or her. Keep reinforcing that into your mind in order for you to defeat that anger inside. Number two, let go of your ego and pride. My friend, it's okay to do this once in a while. The thing is, 
you are not doing this for a stranger or just a random person you are doing this for the person that you love can you do it for her or him because most of the time you use that anger as a shield to protect your ego this anger gives you temporary satisfaction makes you feel strong and powerful feels so good inside doesn't it okay but that's temporary because the truth is no matter how much you hurt the person that you love it doesn't lessen the hurt that you feel inside it makes everything worse because you end up regretting everything that you said i truly want you to realize this is your ego more important than the person you love would you rather protect that ego at the expense of hurting your partner most of the time, you use that anger as a shield to protect your ego. This anger gives you temporary satisfaction, power, and strength. Huh, it hurts, right? Now what? Okay, how does that help you? Because the truth is, no matter how much you hurt your spouse, the pain that you feel inside, it's not gonna get better number three when you learn how to let go of your ego and pride it's okay to be vulnerable with your partner this is not a contest nor a competition of who gets hurt the most between you and your partner you guys are partners it's okay to be vulnerable expose your feelings tell them the truth show them your pain be real and truthful of how you truly feel and stop using anger to disguise your fear of being vulnerable being vulnerable will be able to help you to communicate with your partner and you will be able to tell him or her what you truly feel inside without the unnecessary distraction or anger you will be able to communicate even in pain without losing your love your connection and most especially your respect to him or her if you learn how to do these three steps my friends you will be able to create a stronger bond between you and your partner you've also learned to not hurt the people that you love and be able to maintain that peace and happiness inside your home Thank you so much for your requests, your topics. Comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community. And your topic may be next. Until next time! Ugh. It's so bitter. I didn't have milk here.